This video will show you how to import time cards into Sage Business Vision 7.71a. With the installation of the 7.71a patch, Business Vision has provided the facility to import payroll time cards directly into the payroll module. On page 5 of the new features in Sage BizVision 2014 7.71a, we will see that there is a heading for payroll enhancement and underneath a time card import. If we go down, we can see that the standard file import utility now has the option to import time cards in the Canadian edition. If we go down, we can see here that the time card option is available under the import wizard and below that we have the specifications on how to import the time card successfully. The specifications are on page 5 and on page 6. Note that the employee can only have one unpaid time card per pay period in the time card file at a time and the time card dates are based on the pay date entered in a payroll schedule. In order to begin importing time card information Let's go back to Business Vision, and if we go to File, Import, Standard, the Import Module, uh, click on the drop down, and if you go down the list, you may or may not have the time card specified as an option here. In the event that it is not here, we could simply click on Utilities, System Manager, User Details, go to the Access tab, and go to the Utilities uh, menu, and You'll see on the right hand side there's an import time card data. Set this to yes and click on the save icon and then close. Now if we go back under file, import, standard, the drop down list will now contain time cards. Let's go back to the PDF. Let's cancel for now. In the PDF here on page 5, at the, towards the bottom, we have the specifications that must be adhered to to import the time card successfully. We have the field name, uh, employee number, pay period, pay type, hours, rate, amount, and account number. Uh, there's a column for notes. Please read the notes area on the right hand side. It will contain the specifications in order for you to populate the fields correctly. Let's go back to business vision and let's click on Utilities, Payroll Setup, and Schedule. In the Pay Schedule, I have two pay frequencies that I'm using in this company. I'm using actively pay frequency 52 and 24. Both are pay period 12 for this example. The pay date I'm using is May 19th, 2014, and the period that this paycheck covers is from May 5th to the May 16th. Let's close, and for this example, I'm going to be paying five employees. I'll be paying Robert Adams, employee one, two, three, four. I'll be paying Alex Brown, Christine Davidson, Pierre, Elizabeth, and Jennifer. If we click on the time card tab, we see here that we have paychecks for the year 2010, 2011, nothing for 2014. I go to my previous employees, I have the same situation. None of them have a paycheck for 2014. Let's close the payroll module and I'm going to open File, Import, Standard, and Time Cards. Since I've never imported a time card before, I must use a project name. Just put time card import, and we'll click on next. And I have two options, comma separated values and Microsoft Excel. I've created a Excel file for this. So let's uh, choose the file, and it's under my demo folder, and timecards.xls, we'll open that and we'll click on next and this vision will read the excel file the excel file has 
six fields in it. Let's take a close look at the file. I'm going to open the time card file in Excel and I have the six fields. In this Excel file we have six columns, employee number, employee pay period, pay type, hours, rate, and amount. We are going to import five time cards from employee 1234, 1235, 1267, 1278, and 1285. These employees have salary, uh, regular hours, overtime hours, and commission. Note that in this example, we are using pay period number 12. Let's go back to Sage Business Vision and let's map the fields that we saw in Excel to Sage Business Vision. Employee number to employee number. Let's click on map, pay period to pay period, pay type to pay type, hours to hours, the rate, and finally we have the amount. Now that the mapping is set, let's close the Excel file. Let's save the format. And we could either save the project so we can use it at a later time. And we could now click on import. Import has completed successfully. If the import did not complete successfully, none of the time cards will be imported. Instead, you will click on the view log button to see what went wrong with the import. Let's hit OK and let's hit finish. And let's go back to the employee module and pick the first employee. Let's look at Robert Adams time cards. We now see upon the import of the time card file, we have an unpaid time card in the system. For Robert Adams, we see here a time card dated 2014, period number 12, May 19, 2014. We can double click on the uh, time card to look at the details. See here that there's a salary of 2073 and 75 cents. We can cancel, click on the time card button at the top, and click on total, and we can now see that BizVision will now calculate the federal tax CPEI and any deductions and benefits, and we're now ready to print the paycheck. Let's exit for now. Let's go to the other employees. We now see for Alex Brown there's an unpaid time card. For Pierre, let's double click and we can see that we have a regular time and overtime. And note the hours and rates. Let's look at the original Excel file. Let's rename the file back to timecards.xls. open the file in Excel, we can see here that for Pierre, we have the 80 hours at a rate of $12 an hour and overtime of two hours at $18 an hour. Let's go back to Business Vision and we can see that it matches perfectly. Let's go to the next employee, Elizabeth. Let's double click on this time card and we have a regular time and commission Let's take a look at the Excel file for this. Business Vision will calculate the amount based on your hours and rate. And here we have a commission of 550. And the last employee, Jennifer Jason, let's click on the time card. We can see there's salary and overtime. And let's take a look at the Excel file. 16 Zero 03 and 120. Very important things to note is in the formatting of the time card file, either in commerce separate values or Excel, please ensure that the field names and the uh, data types and lengths are adhered to. Read the notes column so that you're able to format the file correctly. Uh, if the file is not formatted correctly, your import will fail. This concludes this video on importing time cards 
into Sage BizVision 7.71a.